they have science and engineering advisory board at the White House. I want to make sure, in fact, I've been told that the, by the Minister of Science and Technology that I'm on the advisory board for the president so we can advise him. When John F. Kennedy said that we have to go to, to, to put a man on the moon in 10 years, they did it in nine. And all the, 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 the benefits and all the, the different technologies that came out of it, came out of space technology. If they can monitor the heart of a human being on, 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 on the moon, heart rate, monitoring the heart rate of somebody on Earth, no matter where they are, is easy. Piece of cake. So, so, so that's no stretch goals is what I'm going to emphasize in Ghana as we advise the president. I'm being called by different countries right now, you know, to come and, you know, help them. But I want to do it here in Ghana first so that we would move Ghana into the 21st century. As you said, I just wrote a book called Nanotechnology Commercialization. The first black person in the world to have a book on nanotechnology. This textbook is an international textbook being used in all universities, Tokyo, China, London, America, all the universities in the world are using this textbook. A product from Ghana, a product from Adisco, a product from Kwame Nkrumah University. As I said, I'm just like anybody else. Mm -hmm. When you have seven patents in six years, it takes some people three to ten to get one. That's serious. What's the secret, though? I mean, uh, were you a born inventor? Were you making things mechanically minded when you were young? Well, it, it has to be innate. It has to be part of it. Your God-given God talent. You remember when I said I was listening to the, 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 the song Medawasi? Mm -hmm. Benisa, mm -hmm. you know, every day I say that to God, mm -hmm. you know, it's because genius comes from God. I, I say that. And genius has no color. And I believe strongly in myself that I, I'm able to do what Bill Gates does, what Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook does, what, what, what Tesla's founder does. Because my technology, the fiber optics, has enabled all these guys to expand their businesses. All the guys who have sent tweets to us today or have sent Facebook uh, yes. comments or yes. have uh, watched a, a, a YouTube video. Yes. Why should they be grateful to you and three other guys for, 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 for the ability to do that? Well, in 1984, fiber optics has been, invent, has been developed but stayed in the lab. And if you have it in the lab, the world cannot use it. It will stay in the lab. For 15 years, it stayed in the lab. And so when I got a corn in, they said, Doc, this is the biggest problem we have. We've done the glass part. And as you can see here, mm -hmm. this is the fiber optics. This glass is, is a thread, very, very thin. Very, that's glass covered by coating. And when we are making it, if you touch it, it's going to break. So this glass was breaking any time they were trying to pull it, like toffee. Mm -hmm. it, you pull it beyond two meters a second, it breaks. It breaks. And that stalled the development and implementation of fiber optics globally for 15 years. So when I was there, I knew this was a problem that has to be solved. Whether you use the corning technology outside vapor deposition process, or the AT&T inside vapor deposition process, or the Japanese technology, which we call, the, we call OVD, Axial, actually axial vapor deposition process. When you make the glass, you take germanium, tetrachloride, silicon, and, you know, deposit it. Once you make the glass and consolidate it, you have to put it in a draw furnace, heat it 2,000 degrees C. All this is explained in my book, The mm -hmm. Right Stuff mm -hmm. Comes in Black too. You have to pull it like toffee. As soon as you pull it, you have to put the coating on it immediately before it can touch anything or before you can wound it on the spot. But how did you figure it out? I mean, the problem that was un un unsolved for 15 years. I mean, what, what, how did you figure well, it out? Well, inventors, inventors think in four dimensions. Everybody sees in three. We think in four, we look at things in four dimensions. What is the fourth dimension, sir? Well, as I see, you know, it's imagine. and Einstein said, mm -hmm. imagination is more important than knowledge. Mm -hmm. I put it as the first page in my book. Mm -hmm. You know, imagining things you know, in four, four dimensions. I can see Ghanaians riding high-speed train mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. because I believe in it. I can imagine it. Mm -hmm. And I know it's going to happen. If not, other countries will bypass. So, so in ge geniuses 
whether it's Einstein or whoever, myself, we, we look at things different from the everybody else. You know, number one, we, we, we don't say, oh, this is how it's being done, that's it. We look at, oh, how can it be done? Kekule, who developed the benzene ring, mm -hmm. he saw that in his sleep. Mm -hmm. In his sleep. Mm -hmm. And so, when I was given this problem, I was, watch, I was really imagining it, thinking about it, coming up, so even when I'm sleeping, 24 hours. So that's what led to the breakthrough for this global need. Was there a particular dream or a particular thing you saw? Can you remember anything that said, aha, this is it. This is what we do to make it happen. No, first of all, I knew that, uh, uh, you know, you got to have what is called uniform distribution around the glass as, as coming down. Mm -hmm. You got to have that uniform di distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of mathematics involved, okay. boundary layer theory. I won't get into all that. Okay. But one thing I had used before, I developed before, is to make the applicator out of a, a, a transparent unit so I can see inside the applicator. Mm -hmm. Nobody thought about that okay. all the 15 years. So I made it out of plexiglass and could see what was happening when the glass is coming down and the, uh, the coating is being applied. And guess what I did? In 1984, I used a video, like camera like this, to capture it so I can see it on TV. So not only can I see, oh, this, where is the problem? I can sit and watch it on TV and think about the solution. That's how I came up with it. So your breakthrough came, and for someone who is watching, uh, what does it mean to him? If he asks, so what? Well, what is the answer I, to the so what? Well, when I did that, I solved a 15-year-old problem. People were thinking about sending pictures and uh, information or data on glass fiber 15 years before then. Mm. But the production speed was 2 meters a second. That means you cannot replace copper wires with that. Two meters a second makes fiber optics cost expensive. One dollar and copper was ten cents. So it doesn't, economically, you can't doesn't do make that. Sense. You can't do business with that. So when I, made, when I developed the ability to see what's going on, I redesigned the application system in a way so that you have uniform, these are all covered in my patents. Mm -hmm. You can Google those patents and look at them. Mm -hmm. And we, were in a, we went to a factory to test it. And everybody was going, well, we've tried everything. What else can we try? And all of a sudden, my boss said, Dr. Mensah has an invention. We should try it. That went to the top as the thing to try. And the manager said, we're going to shut the plant down in Wilmington, Delaware. And try it. When people are going to lose their jobs, their mortgage, then everybody want to try anything. And they don't even think whether you're black <laughs> or how long you've been there. They just want a solution. They just want a solution. Mm. And so they dedicated one tower to test this device, this invention. They put it on show time. Immediately it went from 2 to 20 meters a second. 20 meters, that's 10, 10 times, times the speed of production. Mm -hmm. And that cut the cost of production of fiber optics from $1 to $0.10 cents of a copper. So now you're matching copper. Exactly. Yeah. And so all the copper wires were replaced in America. So you got them out of business. I got them. I, you got I, copper I got out of business. Reboot. Yes. I got them into, you know, everybody's <laughs> they yeah. saved their jobs. Mm -hmm. Everybody's happy. They mm -hmm. used to call it a Mensa system mm -hmm. for a few years. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden, all the copper wires in America was replaced with this technology. And so for the person at home, this means you get faster speed. Anytime you download a picture, it goes you, faster. It goes faster. No so if you're than. getting a quick service, it's because of your It's invention. because of this. Mm. So we can have the entire social media in play now. You can send YouTube videos. You can send Facebook pictures. You can send Twitter. You can send all these. They are being transmitted over this glass at the speed of light, laser light. That's in milliseconds. How does that make you feel? I mean, well, coming from Ghana, it makes me feel proud that you've impacted the world. You've made this possible. Did anybody look down on you because you were black? Well, people will look till you show them something. Once they see that, then they don't think color. When they are reading my nanotechnology commercialization book in China, Tokyo, London, they don't look at you as a black person or not. They look at you as somebody who can see things in the future, put it in, in practice, and make it happen. Did you feel you had to work harder because you were black and people were... Well, were, usually were you did that. But mm -hmm. once you're at a certain level, mm -hmm. when I was writing, editing that book, I choose the editors. You know, white, Chinese, I choose the four editors. I, I had one editor who is white, 
I said, if I don't get your manuscript in six months, you are out. Six months, he didn't do it. You fired him. He was out. Big time professor. I put a younger professor there. I got it in one month. You know, you got to be serious. You got to believe in yourself. No matter what color you are. That you can do things and you can make it happen with your God-given innate talent. If you work hard at it and you believe it, you believe you are as good as anybody else. That is why the book is called The Right Stuff Comes, Comes in, in Black, Black too. And that's your new book, your autobiography. Yes. Okay. Um, why are we not applying science uh, m m at a greater speed in Ghana? Well, that, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. America applies science and engineering. As I said, Donald Trump, our president, is surrounded by technology. He can sit here and say, hey, the nuclear submarine over there in North Korea, we go. He can, because of science and technology. His advisors are science. JFK putting man in the space is science. I'm here to do the same thing. We will surround President Anadu with technology and make sure that the ministers and the presidency is surrounded by technology. And they are work. I mean, they use cell phones. They ride in airplanes. All this is technology. So what I'm trying to do here at this time is to make sure that the leadership is surrounded by tech. When I talk about high-speed bullet trains, that they know is technology. Japan has high-speed bullet trains that have been running for 45 years, not a single accident. So when Ghana has trains running at 20 miles per hour and, it, and it's derailing, something seriously is wrong. How fast are those bullet trains? 220 miles an hour. It's like an airplane. Exactly. Except and that it's on the ground. And you want them to, we want Ghana to have I want Ghana like to have that. Mm -hmm. That is what is going to move Ghana forward. I don't want to hear we've got to crawl, we've got to do this. No, we got to have this high-speed train. Because when we have it, and I advise our president to sign that contract the way India signed, India Prime Minister signed his. How did he sign it? He, he told the developers, whether they are from China or Japan, he said, don't make the train and ship it to us. Just like you ship cars to us to drive. Don't do that. Make the components. Bring it here. And let our Indian engineers work with you guys and learn and plan. There will be no fiber optics. There will be no internet. So you're thick skinned. You have to be thick skinned to get things done? We have to be thick skinned. Yesterday we had a lot of dinner with uh, I decided our old boys again. And I tried to get all the questions from them. You know, I'm very grateful to them, mm -hmm. you know, for the awards and accolades. They are all happy that I'm here. But I told them this that we got to do this. This is so important to us. If we build this train, and we can do it in three to four years. In this administration, the Chinese have built 40 in 10 years. That's four every year. They can build Ghana's high-speed train in three to four years. If they build it, you'll be shocked what can come out of it. All of a sudden, we are thinking about the steel that the trains run on. Can we make it in Ghana? They are thinking about the, 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 different, the, the, the different train parts. Can we make this in Ghana? Aluminum that we are negotiating with the Chinese yeah, Chibi. for the Chebu bauxite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they are, if, 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 if we do it here, can we use the components for the train? We'll be, be thinking along those lines. We'll be making things that has value in them that we can sell at a higher price. Because if you continue to sell only minerals and little oil here, and, and that's it. We'll be like that for the next 40 years. But if we leapfrog, and build these trains here. We will have the technology to build cars, technology to build trains, technology to build everything we need. Now Ghana doesn't manufacture anything, not even a match in a matchbox. This is serious. We don't, we don't even manufacture glass, eyeglassware. You know, if somebody get mad somewhere and say, oh, I'm not going to ship Ghana, nothing. You know what would happen. You were in trouble. So I want us to have the ability mm. to manufacture things right here in Ghana and if we build this train it means we're going to create about see 90 percent of the districts are along the train line from here to the border 90 percent so we can put factories there that will manufacture things for the train I can put what is called reaction injection molding uh, uh, plastic molding materials even in, in, in some of those factories and they will make the pass you sit in your car all the plastics they all make by reaction injection molding so inside the train, we can make 
those plastic components can be inside in an airplane where you put your luggage we are all done by that technology so so the technology we can develop mm -hmm. children we can probably create 500 to half a million to a million jobs by building by building this train when i met the world bank president joachim levy he has been to ghana he showed me a picture of the president you know what he told me as soon as he saw the bullet train that we want to build in Ghana and the maintenance facility we want to build in Kumasi, you know what he said? Doc, this is what World Bank will fund. World Bank has 45 billion with a B set aside for infrastructure projects in Africa. So we just need to come up with our plan? We've got to come up with a project okay. that they will fight. The, pre the World Bank leader says, mm -hmm. this is it. That means bullet train, high speed train, we've got to build it. Green light. I'm also looking at the Kumasi International Airport Design and Development uh, with Aviation Maintenance Facility. This is something that is also close to your heart. Exactly yes. what is it meant to do? Well, uh, this, I presented parts of this at the Diaspora Conference. Which yes, you I, I was the host of that event, yeah. And so, this is the eight gate new airport maintenance facility that will, that will be built in the middle of the country. These are two things. Once we do this, it means we can maintain airplanes right here in Ghana. Airplanes will fly from the 15 countries in West Africa to come here and get maintained. Instead of flying to Amsterdam, Ethiopia, South Africa, they will fly closer and we're going to train the engineers and the students coming out of high school to be, to be mechanic, graduating out of high school. Boeing, the largest aircraft manufacturing plant, uh, company in the world, built that Bill 787. They promised me they are willing to train the engineers from tech and all these high school graduates to come and be mechanics, but give them certificates. Boeing has told me that. And I worked with them for 10 years in other areas. If they are willing to do this, I think we should take, a, take them up on What it. is the government saying? Because in the end, you need a government stamp of approval to get some of these things done. Well, uh -huh. I had a great meeting mm -hmm. with Nanado. Mm -hmm. in, and I'll be meeting him again here and the vice president. He said, Doc, make sure you work hard with my sector ministers on this. In fact, from here, I'll be meeting with uh, Minister Dapa, yes, uh, who handles the aviation. aviation yeah, right. For the first time, mm. we'll be meeting face to face. Mm. This is so serious, it will bring technology to Ghana, it will bring money to Ghana, may have a maintenance facility, mm -hmm. it will be, it, and, and what's good about it is it's sustainable development. Mm. In other words, you are flying, you don't fly all the way to Amsterdam, spew, spew in all these. You maintain yeah. here? Yeah, you maintain okay. it. Here. And then we have jobs here as well. We have jobs here, we have technology transfer here, it will move Ghana forward. <laughs> We're wrapping up this conversation. I'm excited about the things you're saying because it, I can see a picture of a very interesting Ghana um, if these things come to pass. Uh, let me just wind back to the beginning. And so you, you, your patents, I mean, you had seven in six years. And yeah. What uh, does that mean? I mean, so if you, you have a patent... Uh, well, when you have an invention or patent, mm -hmm. that means nobody has a claim to it but you. If they put somebody else's name on it, they don't get a patent. So your inventions... Uh, it's in your you, name. You registered them in your in name. In your name, U.S. patents. Now, what's interesting mm -hmm. is that I have here all the seven patents. Four, four of them transform fiber optics forever. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is the technology behind the internet. Yes. Okay. Everybody now can take a cell phone and call America and call South Africa quicker, faster. is because of that technology. Mm -hmm. You know, all the telephone companies you have here... They all rely on this technology. Can I ask a question? Yes. Are you rich? I'm rich, but not probably the level that I should be. What I, it's Mark Zuckerberg, you know, who are billionaires, you know. But you're a millionaire from the pattern. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to. You got to. You got to. Now, uh, well, all my four books are also selling very well. But this is the, where the deal is. But this is this where it starts. Mm -hmm. Now, this particular patent here. You see the crosshairs on TV when the smart bomb is hitting? Mm -hmm. That's the patent. Defense we started technology. that technology, technology. at Bell. Mm -hmm. Bell. Mm -hmm. So it is being used by the U.S. Department of, of, of Defense. It started all the smart bomb, this thing. That's why you see the arrow mm -hmm. showing the missile flying. Mm -hmm. The missile has a little camera at the tip. 
that digit, uh, takes the pictures of the targets, mm -hmm. digitizes and put it on the fiber optic so that the pilot have to just lock on something. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to know how to do mathematics. He just has to know how to play video arcade. Do you feel responsible when they take out somebody uh, by long distance using your technology? Well, I developed the, we developed this to, to, uh, uh, to, to defend America, let mm. me put it that way, mm. Mm. and to make the world safer. Mm. That's how I look at it. You know, but like anything, uh, you can make mistakes, mm -hmm. you know. And when I was talking about the GPS addresses last time, mm -hmm. you put a wrong address, mm -hmm. like we did, you know, we hit the Chinese embassy one point, mm -hmm. you know, that G that's why the GPS, getting the right address, I mean, is very, very important. You'll be following that conversation, right? Yeah, we'll be doing what that. do you make about it, of, of that GPS uh, conversation? I think, I think uh, the, uh, the Nanado and the vice president are right. You know, if, I, if, I, if only I want to change personally one individual address, that's free. Mm -hmm. Even 10, that's free. Mm -hmm. But to do it for the entire country, mm -hmm. nobody will do that for you for free. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is, if a fire is in that house and the address is not upgraded, the fire truck will go to the wrong place and let mm -hmm. that building build down. So this is so important. Mm. We got to have that. Okay. Yeah, we got to have that. Because even in my train, the, house, the bullet train, we're going to book fiber optic cable along the lines, the train route. Your invention is coming to work again. Again. Mm. So that you can sit in the train 200 miles an hour and be on the internet. You can stay in Tamale and work at Accra. You know, because you get in one and a half hours instead of nine hours. You'll be late for work. Did the Americans may, uh, ask you to become a citizen, or you just decided? Oh, yeah. No, well, um, once you do these things, you got to, you mm, know. Yeah. Uh, but what's more important, what's more important that uh, what I've done has made America mm -hmm. number one. Mm. And I hope what I will do here will make, make Ghana, Ghana number, one. number one. I'm going to end on a musical note. I know you love that song. I love that song. Yeah. I'll be giving this... <laughs> This, uh, the ocean, this during their disco uh, uh, dinner, Event, yeah, uh, what 5,000 CDs or whatever, mm -hmm. just to help, yeah, you know, the band and everything. Okay, but I'll be giving this, I'll be signing one for President Kufour, yes, and President Rollins, mm -hmm. you know, 